What's up, N16 fans, guys? Got a blitz for you today, and uh, it's a complicated one. Uh, a little disclaimer uh, with that. It's an A gap blitz, but uh, one of the things with those blitz, uh, before we get into it, is that we have to make some substitutions, and then the other thing that we have to do is realize that this blitz is only going to work once or twice consecutively. Uh, now, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure about in-game mode, how it works, uh, as far as if you can run it over and over again, or if you can only run it one time. But in practice mode, I know for a fact that you can only run it once. Every time I've tried it in-game, it's worked, but, um, you know, that is with some disclaimers. So, so anyway, uh, what we want to do here is we want to substitute our fastest defense alignment in this right uh, of screen slot here, this this guy right here, Greg Hardy will be our guy for today. And then, <coughs> and then, um, you know, we can just sub in everybody else here if we want. Um, we're going to use a simple cover three. Uh, it's from the Force Experiment form formation, which can be found in the 46 playbook. You can run this out of any play in the formation, uh, but we're going to use a cover three today. All right. So simply, what we're going to do is we're going to base a line. We're going to crash our defensive line down. We're going to shift our defensive line to the right, or excuse me, to the left. And then we're going to shift our linebackers to the right. And once we shift our linebackers to the right, we're going to hop blitz our right of screen outside linebacker. It's going to set the pressure up. We should be able to get some A gap. There you see we got some B gap pressure. Um, sometimes this game is weird the way the pressures work. It, it should come through the A gap, but that time it came through the B gap, not a whole lot, I mean from what I can tell this game is kinda of fluky with the pressure but you do get some and then there you see there's the A gap so that's the A gap um, and like I said we, we set it up and I'll show you one more time here and it probably won't work a second time uh, but we'll see here it's the A gap coming in through nice and clean pretty quick at the pretty quick pressure at the quarterback seven five guys Okay. Uh, the flat is open, but if that's the only thing open, we get pressure that quick. It's very difficult for the offense to hit that read. So let me show you this one more time. We're going to call the cover three. We're going to base the line, crash our defensive line down. We're going to shift our defensive line to the left. We're going to globally blitz our right of screen outside linebacker, and then we're going to shift our right our linebackers to the right. It's going to pinch this linebacker in. It's basically what we're looking at here. I like to use the safety over top, but you could use it the back or the strong safety. And you see, we're not we're gonna get picked up that time. Okay, so that's kind of the thing with this. And like I said, it, you know, you got to be really sporadic in how you run it. This is your, you know, if you want, this is kind of what you want to use for that third and really short play. Um, you know, so you may call this cover two, bring your safeties down in the box, and just know you're gonna get that pressure. And um, you see, we got picked up. And what we're gonna have to do is we're, we're actually gonna have to run pressure, you know, from the left side to alleviate this and then go back to it okay so that's, it's all about mixing up your pressures this year but um, in my opinion I mean that's a possible I mean we can do that no problem um, and so there you see there's there's left side pressure and it almost came in the a gap I uh, may need a little faster of a guy there but um, you got left and right a gap from what I can see if we can finagle it a little bit Crawford should possibly come through the a gap here let's see what he does and there you see there's Hardy coming through. And like I said, you know, that the pressure it works where you have to run an alternate pressure to then get your standard pressure to work, from what I can see. Um, you can't just run the same one over and over again. Which is good because it gives variety to the game and uh, things like that. So and here we'll show you. And see there's the B gap. And, and, and so you see how it kind of varies. But you do get pressure from this. Um, it's the 46 bear under guys, like I said. Uh, baseline, it's the cover three baseline, crash your line down, shift your line to the left, shift your linebackers to the right, globally blitz your right of screen outside linebacker. And then I'll use her, typically I'll use her the uh, McLean here. And then what I have been doing is re blitzing Crawford straight down and kind of straighten it out a little bit, maybe create more of a void. And you see there we get uh, we get picked up coming through, but uh, you do see the, the concept. So. That's the Bear Under A Gap with a little bit of a disclaimer on how it works. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys like this tip and uh, would like to check out